Hello again, a lighter video this time. Let's have a look at the double jet turbo flame lighter. This is a great little utility lighter, although I have had two others in the past that had actually broken. I'm not entirely sure what made them break. I think one of them, the sparker stopped working so the lighter wouldn't ignite. And I think on the other one, the jets actually got clogged with the impurities of the gas that I was using because I was just using cheap crappy gas. I think you're supposed to use the more expensive gas on these, but to be honest, at over £5 just for a tin of gas, it's, it's kind of, yeah, you don't really want to pay that much money for gas. These lighters usually come in at around £10, give or take. Usually you can get them from £8 up to £15, depending on where you go. I got this one from Amazon for about £11. These are great little utility lighters. I mean, I collect lighters, so that's why I've got this one. Uh, I keep it as part of my hobby of collecting, but these are these are good, really good for uh, melting paracord. That's one thing I like to use these for. And obviously, being a jet lighter, it's fairly windproof, and in fact weatherproof. So it'd make a good lighter for camping and survival and all the rest. So there's that. Let me just quickly compare it to a Zippo. So it's not much bigger than a Zippo. Probably weighs about the same. Of course, this just fills up in the bottom like any other butane lighter, and you can see it's got an adjustment. Now, if you buy one of these, you will have to adjust it before you use it. This one came empty. Some of them come empty, some of them don't. I don't know what the deal with that is. It seems if you buy them in the shop, they usually have gas in them. Or if you order it off Amazon, it might not. I think that's due to shipping regulations with pressurised gases. My one, though, I had to turn it right up. To get the flame you can see here as well they've got a little lanyard loop excellent can't complain it's just unused space anyway and that's great that's got that there and of course a little fuel window so you can see uh, how much fuel you've got left now as this is a gel frame jet lighter this absolutely eats up fuel of course we've got this flip up cap here to stop the jets getting dirty and other than that, it just works just like any other normal lighter. You just click it down, and there's the flame. Now, these things burn at around 1,300 degrees, so I can only assume that there's many practical applications for a lighter like this. Of course, this will have pros over other standard soft flame lighters. A soft flame lighter, when you ignite them, you can't really work with it upside down or at any angles because obviously the fuel, the, the, the fire wants to, the flame wants to go up no matter what angle you're at. But with a jet lighter, you could hold it at any angle and that flame is still going to be straight. I don't think that's on the full set and I think you can get a slightly bigger flame if you turn it up a bit. But of course, the bigger the flame, the more fuel consumed. So there's not really much point in that. I had wanted, I had wanted uh, to do more videos on lighters so that's why I'm doing this as I said before collecting lighters is another hobby of mine and I do have quite a number now so hopefully in the future you'll be seeing more of them if you're interested let me know your thoughts in the comments below and thank you for watching I'll see you later